Hi, I'm CJ Elmerig with TransWest Truck Trailer RV in Frederick, Colorado. We appreciate you tuning in. So behind me is a 2024 Cimarron North Star three horse bumper pull. This is a very well equipped all aluminum trailer from Cimarron. With Cimarron, you're gonna get an eight year structure warranty, three year bumper to hitch warranty and a one year no questions asked warranty on tires. We'll talk a little bit more about. We're gonna go ahead and take a look at the drawing on this trailer so I can show you how it's actually laid out. So again, it's a three horse. It's standard width 610 wide, standard height 71 tall. It's 18.9 on the floor. You're gonna end up with a three foot tongue on the front end of that, and then a front tack room on this. So we're gonna walk through this trailer. I'm gonna show you a couple different things on it. Um, there is a few upgrades on it. Very first thing is when you get up to the, the coupler and the actual jack itself, we have a two and five sixteenths ball. <laughs> Hand crank bulldog jack. You're gonna have electric brakes on this. So your truck's either gonna have to have an integrated brake controller or an aftermarket brake controller to run that. You're gonna have the lower kind of guard on the front there. It's a 24 inch. It's gonna protect for some, from some rocks and just road debris itself there. Now on this, we got a front tack room. So <laughs> on these, even though this is 610 wide, the standard, you'd normally have some running board here. But on these, we like to go ahead and put these fold-up steps. We're a big believer in it. It makes a big difference getting in and out of these tack rooms. As you can see from where the ground is to the bottom of the door frame, that is a big step. I mean, that's above my knee almost. So by having the fold-up step, it really helps transitioning in and out of these tack rooms. The other thing about the 42-inch wide door is so we can accommodate these swing-out saddle racks and then blanket poles. As you can see, as we start approaching this door frame, how close it'll get. So you can imagine with this being a, a narrower door, which a lot of manufacturers uh, will do, you know, maybe about a 36 inch, this is a 42. So again, we can walk in and out. And then even with it swung out, you still have the ability to get in and out of this tack room. Since it's a three horse, you're gonna get the three saddle pads, two blanket poles above that. These are all adjustable as well. So if you wanna change the way, um, they're actually in order. <coughs> you wanna add an additional saddle rack, you can do that. But again, you can still get in and out of these tack rooms by having that 42 inch wide door. And then as we get into the tack room, you're gonna have on the partition wall, aluminum powder coated hooks that Cimarron builds. I like the depth of these, the width between them. You can put a lot of halters, a lot of bridles, a lot of reins on these. That's typically one of the downfalls of older style everything you come in has pretty much fallen off of it. And then they put carpet behind that so it'll protect that. Uh, it, as you're driving, things are gonna shift. We'd rather it rub against the carpet rather than the aluminum sheet scuffing everything up. In the corner, you've got a 25 gallon corner water tank. You fill from the top, you fill from the bottom, or uh, empty from the bottom. You've got a hose, you put a ball valve on the end of it, fill your buckets out outside. <coughs> this is great, so you're not having to pack buckets from a long ways when you're at an event, if the hydrant's you know, quarter mile, eighth of a mile away from you, nobody wants to do that. So it's nice to have this on board with you. And then on that 42 inch wide door, you're gonna have a brush tray, put your little smaller miscellaneous items in there, your hoof fix, your brushes, your fly sprays, anything like that, keeping things nice and organized there. This is white sheeting on this trailer, that is standard. You can upgrade to charcoal metallic, black, silver metallic. There's other color options you can do. They're typically um, an upcharge when you go to a different color than the standard white, but you can do some customization there as well. 16 inch awning light at the top there. Uh, again, it's not a big trailer by any means, so you have that light coverage right here in this kind of main area, your tack and then over where you're gonna tie horses. Now here's a big upgrade on this trailer, these drop down windows. Rather than the bus windows, you're gonna get the drops, so you get a lot of airflow out this, throughout this trailer. 250, 200 pound rubber torsion, Dexter axles. Again, electric brakes. You get your 16 inch wheels. These are nitrogen filled tires, so PSI levels aren't gonna fluctuate drastically. If you catch a nail, road debris, blowout, one year, no questions asked warranty on the tires. You get those aluminum wheels, the black with the silver accent, it ties in really well, especially with the windows on this trailer. Um, 
With it being 5,200 pound rubber torsion axles, the empty weight on this trailer is about 3,300 pounds. I think it's 3,330 is the exact empty weight on it. So again, this thing can be pulled with, you know, about every new half ton out there, um, more than capable. Some of your SUVs, those type of items there, you always have to look at your uh, towing capability um, of your tow vehicle itself and what it can handle. If you want a rear ramp, that could be added to this. We just remove that rubber bumper. It'll be a ramp over over these rear doors. These are independent, so we can shut them in any order we want. 60-40 setup because of the width. As we get into our wider trailers, we'll go to a 50-50. Another awning light up above there. Solid dividers with pads, big springs on them. This trailer's tipped towards passenger side, but as you can see, when I release them, it's wanting to pull them towards driver side. So it's safer for you and the horses, get them on and off these. You have that stud divider at stall one. So if you want to use that for additional storage, you can. If you need somebody you need to separate from the rest, that's a good stall there. But if you're putting other items in here, shavings, feed, you don't have to worry about them, um, you know, shifting or getting underneath horses in transit because you've got that stud divider there protecting them. Recessed paddle latches. All these dividers have radiuses to them. Everything's nice and smooth. We want to protect the horses. Cimarron does a fantastic job of that. On this floor, there are four inch centers. So this is the best floor on today's market. Imagine hoof size of your horse. They're standing on a support beam this entire length of this floor. Uh, that's a good way to tell quality of an all aluminum trailer is just look underneath and you'll see those I beams start spacing. That's where you'll get those pits over time where urine will collect. It'll find that low spot and start to corrode those floors. This back stall right here is a little bit larger so we can keep with a solid divider rather than a telescoping. Uh, it's really nice if you need, you know, a companion animal, something like that, little donkey, little pony, little goat, whatever it is, mare in a fold, they've got a little bit more space here in this back stall with that. Now, Every Cimarron is capped with this insulated roof. Now, on today, it's not as big of a deal trying to keep animals cool that we're dealing with here, but in the summertime, uh, it'll keep that, this stall area about 20% cooler than aluminum sheeted roofs. <laughs> that makes a big difference, but you have these drops. You have drops on the head that I'll show you. Two-way roof fence, that insulated roof. It'll keep the stall area nice and cool for our horses. The other thing is it's really strong and durable. It's a half inch thick, it's honeycomb design. It'll withstand 150 pounds per square foot. So I can walk on that roof and I won't dent it. I don't have to find roof bows or anything like that. So again, the doors are really easy to operate. Again, independent, so you don't have to put them, you know, shut them in any particular order, open them's easy. All of our light switches are right here for these exterior lights and interior lights in that stall area. And then there's a good look at your drop windows on head side with the jail bars on this side of it over here. You just find a, that sweet spot in that track and it'll come out. All these can be locked. All of all these doors, tack doors, drop windows, all have the exact same key. So it's really easy to lock this trailer up, not have a million keys you have to deal with. And at stall one here, you're gonna have an escape door chest bar over that. All the D-rings are on those dividers, so if you wanted to add corner feeders, we could get those for you as well. And another 16-inch awning light in the middle. So again, you've got all those exterior lights and interior lights, so you have plenty of light coverage on this trailer. <laughs> I'm going to give you the stock number for reference on this one. Again, it's a 2024 Cimarron North Star three-horse bumper pull. It is 5N231387. We do take trade-ins, so if you're looking to upgrade, downsize, we can help you out there. Financing is available and delivery is an option as well. We can bring this right to your doorstep. So give us a call. Anybody on the sales team can help you out. That number is 303-684-3400. We appreciate you tuning in. Have a good day.